So we're starting with Ezra Shem Simon Ches in Alagula. And he is dealing here with the Zionist argument that the Nisim of the Six Day War were greater than the Nisim of Yisiyah's Mitzrayim. He says, V'chlal harayan hazeh. This concept, the Damois of Yisiyah's Mitzrayim, to compare the miracles of the Six Day War, which are not miracles at all. The Rebbe said before that they were, it was just Teva and Hatzlacha Teva, But uh, to go to the extreme and say that the, the, the Nisim were, like the, were greater than the Nisim of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, he says, mamash That's going too far. That's going to the point that they're, they're considered Koyfrim. Why? Believing in Yitzhak Mitzrayim is part of the Ikri Amunah. Kemoisha Kosova Tur, where is it in the Ikre Muna? You look in the Yud Gimel Animah, means it's not there, right? But he says, Kemoisha Kosova Tur, Besimen Tof Reish Chof He, by Hilcha Sukkah. He says, Tala Hakosu Mitzvah Sukkah, be it Sis Mitzrayim, that the, the, um, the, the Torah says that Sukkah has to do with Sis Mitzrayim. It says, it says, Laman Yedu Dor Sechem, Kiva Sukkois Yashfu Bene Israel, Boitzi Yoysal Meretz Mitzrayim. So why does it do that? The chain harba mitzvahs. Many mitzvahs are supposed to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim. Why is that? The fisha who davar shero inu beinenu, because the Yitzis Mitzrayim is the foundation of our emuna, because it's something that we saw ourselves. All other things, neviim coming and telling us things. Other religions have that too. They also have neviim that come and say things, but we don't. We have something that, that, that nobody else has. We have something that we saw with our own eyes. Uvios nenu shamanu. What do they call it? Seers or something? What? Seers? Seers are, yeah, are prophets. Seers. Um, and we heard with our eyes, Nobody could, could uh, prove us wrong, because there's no way, even if you prove that a Navi was false or something like that, but you're not going to prove wrong what we ourselves saw. That's the... The proof of the of the, the of, of the existence of Hashem, Shehu Bara Hakol Rulitzoyna, and He's the Creator of the world, who created everything. Vuhu Asher Lo Yakoyach Vememshala, and He has the power over it. Viayecholus Boal Yoinim Vatachtoinim Lasos Bohem Kirtzoyna. He can do with the world whatever He wants. Viayn Mish Yoimer Lo Matas. There's no one who can stop Him. Kasher Also Imanu Behoitzioy Oisanu Meretz Mitzrayim Beoisetuv Moifsim. That's what He did when He took us out of Mitzrayim. Ad Kan L'Shoyna. And the same thing, the Rambam, Hilchus Yisrael um, Yatoyer, the Rambam says, Perches, that that's the difference between um, between between Moshe uh, uh, um, Rabbeinu and the other Nevi'im. It's it's not the shot that that Moshe Rabbeinu was uh, was just a Navi that was more powerful and did more greater greater oisim and moifsim, but the shot the is that we saw it ourselves. A thing that we saw ourselves can't be can't be denied, can't be disproven. Um, and the same thing, the Rush, in um, the, the father of the tour, the Rush in his uh, Orchas Chaim, he says, anybody who doesn't believe in the end of the Pasuk, right? So the end of the Pasuk is, why is Asher Oitzisicha? Because if you don't believe in that, then Afbi Anoichi Hashem Lukecha Eina Mamin. Then even the beginning of the pasuk, you have no foundation for your belief because believing in Hashem, based on uh, philosophical proofs, is not really is not really a sturdy foundation. It could be disproven, or it could be uh, you know the, the, the proofs can be can have holes in them. Mashenkin, if you believe in Hashem based on Yisus Mitzrayim, that is your personal experience that can't be disproven. And the Kuzari, it's known the Kuzari is a whole whole uh, mahalach is to say we know Hashem from our own experience, not from our philosophy. Um, on that postuk, I think the Ibn Ezra brings down that the Kuzari says this. He brings Rabbi Yudah Levi who said this. Anyway, Umatsinu b'divrei Ramban parshas Ekev Hanal she'al milchemes lamed alaf melachim. It says that we, the Ramban, we just quoted in the last simon about the the Muhammad of Canaan, Shahifliga Kasiv Mu'id Baitsim Godlam Mugvrasam, that the Torah says how great and powerful they were. Kamasha Omar Asharato Yodato Vyato Shamato Mis Yatu Livne Bene Anok, they were giants, Void Kama Psukin Kuelu, Vyafa Pichene. Even so, it wasn't obviously a nace that they won the war. 
And the real proof that they won the war miraculously was from Yitzis Mitzrayim. There there was no other case in history of such nisim that was so openly done in front of so many people and such shidu lamaracha means Hashem pushed aside the regular rules of nature uh, and, and, and did things that were totally against nature. Like Christiansuf. Did it ever happen in history? Any other time that, uh, that Hashem took another, one nation out of another nation? And he says, There will never be such a thing again until the coming of Mashiach. That at that time, Hashem will show us Niflois the same as it is Mitzrayim. This prophecy in Yeshaya is about, or is it Yeshaya or somewhere else? I forgot which Navi it is. But, Based upon in Bechol Yom. That uh, the Torah obligates us to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim and Krishma twice a day. Why? To push the Amuna into our hearts um, and, 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 and deepen our Amuna. There were many other Nisim that happened in Jewish history, but the Torah never tells us to remember those. Even the Melchama of Yeshua against uh, the Canaanim and the, and the giants. Melchama Samalek. The, the war against the Moloch in Moshe Rabbeinu's time, in Melchemes Midian, which also were, were miraculous because no Jew was killed in, 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 Mitzrayim, in, in Midian, right? Umeato Elu Hamadamim Niseim. So, but Batis Mitzrayim is the ultimate nace, that's what the whole Judaism is based on. So, therefore, if someone comes along <coughs> and he compares Niseim, the, 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 the alleged Six day war miracles, Hakoiz Vais, Nise Yitzis Mitzrayim, Oy Magdili Moisam, or they make them even greater, Al Nise Yitzis Mitzrayim, Afro the Pumayu, Hare Mizalzalim Umaktinim Benes Yitzis Mitzrayim. That is trivializing the miracles, the real ones that were the miracles of Yitzis Mitzrayim. The Chaster Lohem Echad Me Ikre Hamuna. They're missing one of the Ikre Hamuna, because if they're saying that all that happened in Egypt was just a a Hatzlach B'der HaTeva, similar to the, the, the Zionist war, then what's your Judaism based on? There's no worse insult to Hashem than this. Anyone who says Hal every day is is insulting Hashem. Why insulting Hashem? Because there's a Rashi, this is Parshat, uh, uh, Mesech the Shabbos, Daf Kufi Tches, on the base, it says, Omer um, B'yoisi, Yehei chelki mi goyim rehal b'chol yoim. I should be considered like those who, or, or I should be among those who say hal every day. Anybody who says hal every day is insulting Hashem. Rabbi Yossi just meant to say that he wants to say Pesukah de Zimra every day, which we, we do in, 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 in Davni every day. So Rashi says, Mecharif Magadif, Shanevim Horishonim Tiknu Loimar, the Prokim Lushvach, the Hoidaya, that the Nevim. Uh, established this this um, this this mitzvah of saying halal because I'm reading the Arvi Psachim, the Zeh Hakoyra. But this person who says halal every day, Tamid Beloi Ita, without without a time, he's not saying it in the time when the miracle has happened. Eino Yela Kemizamer Shir Umis Loitzates. He's just making it into a song, like they do the day they take psukim, make them into songs, right? And he's just making fun of the real halal. So, it, but that's that, so that's the Pasha Pshat, that's Rashi's Pshat. But he's saying. Based on what the Zionists do, you could take that a step further and say anybody who says halal over something that's not a nace is trivializing the real nace. Now, I don't, I, I don't know all the people that the Rebbe is referring to when he says that the Zionists said that the, um, that, that, that the Nisim of the war were like Tzitz Mitzrayim, but I found one person who said it. 
um, allegedly. And this is Reb uh, Chatzke Levenstein, the Mashkiach, the Mir Mashkiach, who became the Panovich Mashkiach. And it, it's reported, now I don't know if it's written in his own words, but it's reported by someone named Reb Yitzchak Brand, who became a big Zionist afterwards. And he is, um, he wrote a book, it says, Besefer Bezois Tedun Kikel Chai Bekir Bechem. He wrote a sefer called, with this name, with this you shall know that there's a God in your midst. Behagi Yeshivas Panovich, E.R. Tafshin Chavches. So this is like one year after the, the war, 1968, I, I arrived in Panovich. He compared the, the miracles of the war to the miracles of Yitzit Mitzrayim. He said many times, It shows that Hashem is among us, and He gave us this land, and the land is ours. I didn't hear it from exactly, but he said the same thing. It's what he says. I don't know if you can believe it because he's not actually quoting him. And then he says an interesting thing. He says, He says, After Rav Chatzka was Nifter, they gave the position of Mashkiach to Rav Shach. Rav Shach was the Mashkiach for a while in Panovich. And Dibur Bekivun Hafuch Al Gamri, and he spoke the exact opposite. Vedima Milchemes Sheishes Hayamim Lamatzav Shela Mapilim. He said that the war of the, 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 the Six Day War was similar to the Mapilim, the Jews who invaded Eretz Yisrael before the Zman, mm-hmm. in the time of Moshe. Umevusa Sal Das Bal Vayol Moshe. That he was the Rav Shach based himself on the Satmar Rebbe's words. Mimela Tamach B'Muchlat. Rav Shach was in favor of returning the, the, uh, the, the um, territories captured in the war. Now, this is kind of unrelated. I don't know why he sticks that together with this. Rav Shach was, against, <laughs> was in favor of returning territories because he held that... Like I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, for the sake of peace, you have to you know, do anything you can to save life. The, the, the Eretz Yisrael, Zionism is not a priority in Judaism. Even if it's, if it's mutter, it's not a priority. Right? You're not allowed to risk lives for it. Anyway, he said that the Six Day War was, a, was, a, was, a, was an example of don't fight a war, ki eneni bekir bechem, fakert, Hashem is not in your midst. He considered anybody who, who is held otherwise not to have das toyer. So he's implying Rav Shach basically held that Rav Chazka Levenstein didn't have das toyer. I'm sure that's not what Rav Shach meant, but that's what he says. Sorry, now, Brand. This, this, this person, Rabbi Brand, yeah. Now, what, so why did, why indeed, Rav Chatzka Levenstein wasn't, wasn't uh, a koifer, why indeed did he say such a thing? He's a great man, right? And the Rebbe is right. The Rebbe is saying a very strong accusation that anybody who compares the Tzioinim to the Sixth Day, to the, to the, to the, to the Mitzrayim is basically trivializing the Tzitz Mitzrayim. So why, why would Rav Chatzka Levenstein say such a thing? Why would you say such a thing? So I looked a little further on the same web page of Rav Brand. Do you know that the Rav Shreve say the same thing? Or? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he says great yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I really don't. I didn't research everybody. I'm just telling you what I, what I found quickly. So <laughs> why, why did Rav, Rav Chatzko say this? So if you look er, uh, on the same page, he brings like this. Sefer Anikra Koivitz in Yanim. The, where's, the, where's the words of Rav Chatzko Levenstein found? It's, it's found in this little Sefer called Koivitz in Yanim. Could be today it's printed in Ori Cheskel. I don't know. Wasn't able to look it up yet. Um, but he says that this, these are the Torah he said in Tav Shechav Zayin, 1967. Elul, from Elul until Tishrei, Tav Shechav Ches, the next month. Um, so he brings a Ramchal. Ramchal says, Zois nechama senu b'inyanenu ki b'ohanyenu ki loy alma senu yifkoid. That he says there's a, there's, there's a time in history when Hashem doesn't look at our actions. Usually, you're right, usually if, 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 if the Yidin are good, Hashem is good to them. And if they're bad, it says, you know, imloi sishmuli, then Hashem is not good and they, to them, and they, they lose the wars. But, he says there's a nechama, that there's going to come a time when Hashem doesn't look at that. 
He's not waiting for our schusim. He's not going to give us away, trade us away because of our, our lack of, of, of good deeds. Because Hashem promised our fathers the covenant that He made, He'll help us that no matter what. Even if we have no merits at all, when the time comes, the day that's, that's uh, secret, that we know when He knows when it will be, Hashem will definitely save us. Because he's the master of everything. He could do that when he wants. He's not bound by any, any kind of rules. So, I don't know what the Ramchal is. Then he says, That Rabbi Yochanan said that Mashiach could come either in the Dor Shekuloi Zakai or a Dor Shekuloi Chayev. A door that's everyone's bad. Mashiach could come. You know, in Vayal Moshe, Simon Mem speaks about this memory. Yeah, the Freak is say we can't be all the angels, so as might as well be all all sin. bad, and then we'll bring Mashiach from being bad. Yeah. So obviously, so the Rebbe says it doesn't mean Dor Shekulei Chai. First of all, it doesn't mean Kulei. It means Rubai Kulei. And secondly, he says it doesn't mean that being Kulei Chai causes Mashiach to come. It's, 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 it's despite that they're, that they're bad, Mashiach will come. Anyway, but he says like this, Being bad is, is the, against the Ratzon Hashem. And still it's a possibility that, that this will cause the Gula. So he seems like he's doing the same thing the Rebbe says not to do. He says it will cause the Gula. But anyway, That's, this is the power of Yichud, which means Hashem's oneness, Hashem's power. We just saw recently. That the, the miracles of the war are, are things that really should not be done for Rishon. Right? The war, the, the, the Zionists won, they, they, they really shouldn't have won because they're not Tzadikim. They didn't even do tshuva. They didn't even say they wanted to do tshuva. And still, such things happened. If they would have taken to heart what happened and thought about it, they could have all become tzadikim. Of course, no Zionist ever became, I mean, none of the leaders, let's say. Right? Rabbi Shapiro says, by the way, he says, like, if, if there were Nisim in the Six Day War, why didn't so? I mean, there were Bali Tshuva. It's true. But why didn't the leaders of the Zionists become Bali Tshuva? <laughs> you never find the Dayan and Rabin and all these people becoming Bali Tshuva. Why not? Because they knew the truth. They knew it wasn't an ace. <laughs> anyway, oh, but he says, oh, that's but, but, uh, but Reb Chatzka is not going that way. He's going that the Nisim were real Nisim and they could have become Siddiquim if they wanted to. How could that be? This is the power of Hashem. Hashem is not bound by what people do. Hashem could save us. He could save even Rishoim. This strengthens our Amun in the coming of Mashiach. We shouldn't think to ourselves, are we uh, worthy of, of Mashiach? Hashem is not bound by what people do, and he doesn't uh, have to withhold his Yeshua just because we're Rashaim. He says, in Yitzis Mitzrayim also, the Jews were, were in, in, the, in the tomb of Mitzrayim. They were doing Avod Zarah. It says, Halalu Avod Zarah, right? They needed to find Zchusim that, that they could have to be redeemed. They had to be given carbon Pesach and Mila. But in the end, they were redeemed. How is that possible? Because... Uh, because that's the way it works, that sometimes Hashem Yisbarach could do nisim for people that don't deserve it. So, it comes out like this. Rabbi Chatzko wasn't saying, chas v'shalom, what the Rebbe accuses people of saying. He says that, that you say, he's Mitzrayim, is the Yisrael of the Amuna, and you're saying that these, these miracles are the same as he's Mitzrayim. No, he didn't say that. He said that the Yitzis Mitzrayim was a nest that was done for people who didn't deserve it, 
They were in the Memtes Shari Tuma, and in the same way, the, the Tzioinim didn't deserve it, but a miracle happened for them. Now, the Rebbe obviously is going to go on and on about this, and he's going to speak about how miracles don't happen for Rishayim. But uh, put that on the side for the moment, if Rebbe Chatzko held the miracles do happen for Rishayim, that's his only comparison to Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. He's not saying that, uh, that what, what the Rebbe accuses people of saying, that, that it's on the same level as Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. Yeah.